My Things 3 video has been one of my most popular videos of 2017. And it's no surprise, the app is truly fantastic. Some people commented on those videos that I should go ahead and try out Todoist. And when I did, I kept coming across two challenges. The app is always online. It is never truly offline. And that kind of presented some challenges when I'm out in the field. And number two is that there are a lot of things happening in the app. There are so many features that I ended up spending more time managing the app itself than it managing my tasks for me. And for those two reasons, I stuck with my favorite app, Things. If you haven't seen my review of Things 3 yet, well, it's out here. You can go check it out and get kind of a lay of the land so you know what we're talking about here. I'm a YouTuber and senior engineer at Design Zing Studios, the company that runs this channel now. And I have a couple of iOS projects going on apart from these YouTube videos. And uh, that makes my schedule really, really tight and packed. And if you're wondering how I manage that, I made a video on that too. You can go check it out here. And well, that's really gonna tie into this whole thing towards the end of the video. So if you haven't seen that, now's a good time to go check it out as well. My top level view in things consists of my projects in three areas of interest, work, family, and personal. Under work, I have my various projects listed out as you can see. Things does a great job of offering me an overview of each project without ever having to open it. Under personal, I have one separate project called to buy, sell. I'll come to that in a bit. My inbox is literally used as a dumping ground for tasks I make on the go. I revisit these every few days and move them around to the appropriate sections. Items that are time sensitive, like for example this one where I need to send someone some documents on a particular day, I can move that to the upcoming section of the app and it'll automatically remind me on that particular day. I use Siri a lot to add reminders to the iOS reminders app and that's a lot more efficient for me than having to pull out my phone and manually type in the reminder every time. I have things set up to import these reminders into the app itself and that way I do not have duplicates anywhere and I have all my to-dos in a single app. We've got things set up now for importing and creating new tasks and how you sort these tasks into these three sections is purely up to you. Uh, you may have more than three sections or only two sections and that is totally up to you. If you're a school or a college student, you can list your various classes under projects and what this will allow you to do is have individual tasks for a particular class inside that class itself and that will make it really easy for you to organize your tasks. The important thing to remember is that not all tasks are created equally. Some are more important than the others. So let's say we have three priorities for them, normal, medium and high. I have two tags set up which are basically a single exclamation emoji denoting medium priority and a double exclamation emoji denoting high priority. This allows me to set up and quickly distinguish between tasks which need my attention sooner than the rest. Things also has a tag filter on the top allowing you to quickly filter through them, making things a lot easier. You shouldn't stress too much about adding tags to your tasks when you're creating them. This should always be done at a later point in time when you're much more relaxed so you can decide and organize them much more creatively. You should always also reference your calendar back and forth to see when you can do a particular task most efficiently. Another important thing to note is that you should take an overview of the tasks you're supposed to do or you are scheduled to do on that particular day and just go at it. Do not focus on the app too much. Once you've taken an overview, close the app and just go at the tasks, knock them out one after the other and at the end of the day, open the app and have a look at, okay, I've done this, 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 this was left so I'm going to move it to tomorrow. Uh, unless I hope it wasn't time sensitive and that way the app will get out of the way and allow you to do more things and this way when you come at the end of the day and mark a bunch of these off the dopamine hit is going to be a lot stronger so if you like this video or liked what I had to say in this video hit the like button uh, if you did not like it uh, leave me a comment down below and let me know why you didn't like it if you're new around here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And of course, as always, feel free to share your things workflow down in the comments uh, because my workflow isn't going to be necessarily suitable for everybody. 
and everybody is going to come up and develop their own unique workflows and maybe someone will find your workflow works really well for them and they might buy your beer or coffee i'll see you in the next one cheers